today is another day to learn new and interesting things about our subject. I am your teacher in technical drafting and I'm very excited to join you in your journey towards learning. The topic for today is about AutoCAD software, features, and working environment. For today's discussion, we aim to do the following. First, identify CAD software features according to the software provider. Second, identify the basic CAD concepts. And lastly, identify CAD working environment. So first, let's define what is AutoCAD. AutoCAD is as an efficient and a user-friendly program. Commercial drafting and computer-aided design CAD software applications are AutoCAD. AutoCAD software is recognized internationally for its remarkable editing capabilities, which make it likely to digitally draw building plans or recreate 3D images. This software was developed in year 1982 by Autodesk. AutoCAD interface. You can see the application menu or the application button, quick access button, the ribbon panel, navigation bar, view cube, the drawing area, this the cross is the cursor, the UCS icon, the command window, and the status bar. These are the AutoCAD interface. So let's define the AutoCAD interface. First, application menu. This is the first thing you see on launching AutoCAD, located in the far left corner at the top of the screen. It is represented by a big red A button with a downward-facing black arrow. Single-click this button opens a downward menu which contains some number of the same option in the quick access toolbar and more. Double-clicking the application menu is not advised unless you mean to close the AutoCAD application. Second, Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar QAT by default contains icons for a number of commands such as New, Open, Save As, Undo, Plot, and Redo. Like most user interface elements, it can be customized to meet the user's desire. Third, Ribbon the ribbon is a user interface element that contains various AutoCAD commands arranged in panel and tabs. The tabs are quite powerful. They have panels of commands as well as options that relate to any task at hand. For an instance, if you select a hatch object, a contextual tab appears. The tab contains a hatch editing command that appears automatically. Fourth, in editor elements. These are found inside the drawing panel. The user can control their visibility. In the upper left corner of the viewport controls that allow the user to alter the view and visual styles. The view cube, navigation bar, and the UCS icon are positioned as shown in the figure below. Fifth, status bar. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the status bar. It contains only icons. Several icons by default are not enabled, but the user can decide to turn on some of them. 6. File tabs File tabs give access to all open documents. Each document that is open has a tab. Left-clicking on a tab makes it current open document. Right-clicking on the tab gives access to more options. Include the save as and close. 7. Layout tabs. Layout tabs give access to different model spaces for each layout in any given document. Left-clicking on the tab to make it current open layout. Right-clicking on the tab gives you access to more options that include print, move, and rename. 8. Drop-down menus. A drop-down menu is a top-level name that is clickable. On the left-clicking, the menu reveals a list of commands or sub-menu below it. When a command is selected, the menu vanishes. An example of drop menu is shown in the figure on the right. 
are in the left side. This is the example of drop-down menu. Lastly, command line. This is a palette in which you can input command names. When docked, it has some mixed numbers or visible lines. When floating, the command line can expand to show more data. The figure below shows as an example of floating command line. Now, let's identify the AutoCAD working interface. So first, let's click the Start Drawing. Once you click, you can see the AutoCAD working environment. So, I have here the moving cross. This is called cursor. This is the menu button. Alongside of this is the quick access toolbar where you can see the save, the save as, open from web and mobile, save to web and mobile, plot or you can print. Then the ribbon tabs or the ribbon, we have here the view cube, the navigation wheel or navigation tab, the UCS button, this is the layout tab where you can have click the right where you can see the, top, the typewriting or the bond paper or the paper. Then if we were going to back in model, you can see the drawing area. And then right clicking of this, you can have to rename or move copy or select layout. Then we have your document line. So you can, can you identify? What type of command line I have here? Is it floating or dock? Then next, the customize button where you can see this kind of set. And with that, thank you so much my dear students. See you on my next video.